Welcome to the February Spotlight on Income Planning, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and insightful research. This Spotlight on Income Planning is sponsored by... Creative Marketing, Making a Difference. For more information, please visit www.creativemarketing.net. Personal incomes rose by more than expected in December, while consumer spending climbed for the third consecutive month. In fact, the Department of Commerce says incomes rose by 0.4% in the month examined, the sixth consecutive monthly increase, and a figure that surpasses analysts' expectations of 0.3% growth. Income growth was fueled by large one-time Social Security payment, while wages and salaries rose by just 0.1%, or $9.1 billion. Hedge funds declined last month, with the Hennessy Hedge Fund Index having dipped 0.50% and the Hennessy Long Short Equity Index having declined 0.86%. This action came amid the S&P 500 having dropped 3.70%, the Dow Jones Industrial Average having declined 3.46%, and the Nasdaq Composite Index having dipped to 5.37%. According to the co-founder of the Hennessy Group, quote, January was a challenging month as the equity rally was short-lived and reversed course mid-month. While 2009 was all about market beta, 2010 is going to be a year driven by alpha. Security selection will drive out performance. We are already seeing greater dispersion and lower correlations, which should benefit hedge funds." Unquote. Findings from Hewitt Associates indicate that 80% of companies that suspended or reduced their company match to employee 401ks are planning to restore it this year. The survey of more than 160 mid- to large-sized companies with 5.7 million employees also points out that 46% are very or somewhat likely to add automatic rebalancing tools to their plan this year. Meanwhile, 51% say they currently offer online investment guidance, while 42% are very or somewhat likely to do so, and 28% currently offer managed accounts, compared with 25% who are very or somewhat likely to do so in 2010. Finally, Hewitt reports that only 18% of companies say they are very confident about their employees' ability to have enough savings to last throughout retirement. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching the Spotlight on Income Planning. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, find them on producersweb.com and browse by topic.